We're gonna walk into another area of the ship. They like to call them neighborhoods. This is one of our favorites as well. This is the boardwalk. So this is supposed to mimic, uh, and I've never been there myself, but it's supposed to mimic uh, Coney Island in New York in that kind of feel. So for those of you that have been there before, let me know in the comments if, uh, if they did it up right. So as you can see here, we've got some uh, carousel horses and they show you the process and how they get from just big blocks of, of wood into the final product. I am Zoltar, the great gypsy, and I can see your And you can see it's the lovely carousel here. This is, this is included in the, the cost of your cruise fare and the kids just absolutely love it. It's a little dark right now, is it's still a little bit early morning. Uh, there is an arcade down here as well, one of the smaller ones. And this is also uh, an area where you can go to uh, the Playmakers Sports Bar. So this is the first sports bar that uh, Royal Caribbean has put on their ships. Uh, and they've got uh, just hundreds of televisions where you can catch up and enjoy uh, any of your favorite sports action while you're on your cruise. You can order pub style food at an additional charge as well, like wings, sliders, and uh, you can kick back and enjoy the game, play a little shuffleboard. And we'll go back into the boardwalk area here. Probably wondering what this is right here. This is a dry slide. This is called the Abyss, and it starts way up there. So this is one of the unique features on a Royal Caribbean ship, specifically the Oasis class ships. All of the Oasis class ships have the Aqua Theater. So this is located in the aft area of the ship. That's the back on deck six. And they do put on a lot of great shows in the Aqua Theater. We're coming to our show, I believe, Tuesday night, which is tomorrow. And we're really excited about it. So you can see there's lots of seating. You can make uh, reservations in advance for the Aqua Theater show, or you can just uh, arrive about 10 minutes before the show as well if you weren't able to make reservations, and you should, they should be able to find you a spot to enjoy the show. I'll come back now and take you through the rest of the boardwalk. Oh, right here you've got a rock climbing wall, so anyone that's interested in doing some rock climbing, you can do that. And this is uh, another one of our favorite venues on the ship. Uh, those of you that are interested in the 50s diner, Johnny Rockets, maybe you have one at home. Well, you've got one on the ship here. You can come to Johnny Rockets and have one of their shakes or one of those iconic burgers. surf shop if uh, you want to grab a new bathing suit or uh, one of those rash guard shirts if you're gonna go on the uh, bodyboarding up on the pool deck you can grab that, those sorts of items in the surf shack and what would a cruise be without candy I know my daughter's uh, very excited about coming into here Sugar Beach and getting some candy Come back through and you can see the carousel again. And as we exit the boardwalk back into the ship, just one other dining venue I want to show you here. And this is the doghouse. This is included in your cruise fare. You can come down here and get all sorts of uh, hot dogs and sausages and uh, take them up to the pool deck if you're spending the day there. You can eat them here at one of the tables, but uh, the Boardwalk Doghouse, I give it uh, a solid nine out of 10. 